the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. For for to beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. May the divine assistance always remain with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Celebrate God with your hands. Celebrate God with your voice. Celebrate God in all that you do. And He will be with you. Listen to Him with your eyes. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. Let us begin our worship. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In today's first reading we see that God has promised Abraham. He said, leave your land and come to the land which I will give you. The promises that God makes to him. And he keeps total trust in the Lord. In the gospel we see do not judge others and you will not be judged. For the times we have judged others, let us ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, and in, in my, my words, in and what I have done, what and I, what I have failed to do. To do. Through my, through my fault, fault through my, my fault, fault, through my through most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask blessed, blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and to pray, pray for me, for me to, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading for the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country, your family, and your father's house, for the land I will show you. 
I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name so famous that it will be used as a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who slight you. All the tribes of the earth shall bless themselves by you. So Abram went as the Lord told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had amassed, and the people they had acquired in Haran. They set off for the land of Canaan and arrived there. Abram passed through the land as far as Shechem's holy place, the Oak of Moreh. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, It is to your descendants that I will give this land. So Abram built there a temple for the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the mountainous district east of Bethel, where he pitched his tent, with Bethel to the west and Ai to the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and invoked the name of the Lord. Then Abram made his way stage by stage to the Negev. The word of the Lord. Our response to God's word shall be, Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Can you repeat? They are happy whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens, the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. Your response? The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Your response? Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Your response? Can you rise? Hallelujah. 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 Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not judge and you will not be judged, because the judgments you give are the judgments you will get, and the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given. Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice the plank in your own? How dare you say to your brother, let me take the splinter out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own? Hypocrite! Take the plank out of your own eye first and then you will see clearly enough to take 
the splinter out of your brother's eye. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord tells us, do not judge and you will be not judged. Because when we judge other persons, we have no time to love them. We have no right to judge others. Judging human being is the right of God. We have the right to judge only our own selves. One who judges oneself can never pass judgment on others. Comparatively, our sins are greater than our neighbors. Often times we justify even our own wrongdoings. In the same way, even others have their own reasons for what they do. Most of the times we judge others wrongly from our point of view. We are later ashamed of ourselves. Let us leave the judgment to God. Let us look into our own wrongdoings and be renewed. Let us see into our own selves and do the progress in our life. We have to reach retrospect in our own life. And how can I improve my own selves? How can I progress in my own life. Let us pause for a while and ask ourselves, where am I leading? Am I judging others? Judging others is the only right of God. Let us retrospect our life and see where one has to improve and do the progress in his own life. Noven our prayer to the infant Jesus. O oh Jesus, you said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I knock, I seek and I ask that my prayer may be granted. Make your petition and make some petitions for others too. O oh Jesus, you said all that you ask of the Father in my name, he will grant you through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I humbly and urgently ask your Father in your name that my prayer be granted. Make your petition. O oh Jesus, you said heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I feel confident 
that my prayer will be granted make your petition i would like to also pray for father dinesius lobo who is not well is having that heart valve problem may god's grace come upon him may our lord heal him completely we make this prayer dear infant jesus in your name who with the father and the holy spirit live and reign forever and ever Take thou the offering thy children make, all united for thy name's sake. Heavenly Father, almighty God, we offer thee the sacrifice. Show to us thy mercy, O Lord. Forgive us the sins of all our lives. Take thou the offering thy children make, all united for thy name's sake. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept. O oh God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, earth and heaven sing Hosanna in your praise. He is blessed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it. And gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. 
do this in memory of me in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and lourdes daniel our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god a spouse and joseph with the blessed apostles and all the saints we have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who art in heaven, heaven. Hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and all distress all anxieties all unnecessary worries as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins 
but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, who tells each one of us not to judge others and will be not judged. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. An act of spiritual communion. Heavenly Father, you loved the world so much that you gave your only Son. This Son was the manifestation of the love that you have for the whole world, for the whole of humanity. Because he wanted to be present with us eternally he chose the form of bread which we receive when we are privileged to participate in the Eucharist at this time Lord some of us are homebound some are in hospitals some are in places where we do not have the privilege to receive the Lord physically this is why we make this prayer because we know that nothing is impossible for you and that you will come into our hearts as really and as tangibly as we would want. We pray that with Jesus in us, we might become more and more like him every day. Mary, our mother, mother of God, we ask you to place us with your Son. And we ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. If the world life eternal through his death he brought Yes, believe that God is love. Now I live, yet not I. Jesus is alive in me, sending the Spirit's flame into my heart again. God has poured his love on me. God is perfect love. One who lives in love, lives in God and God in Him. Yes, I feel His love, fear gives way to peace, cause I know He loves me first. Now I live, yet no time, Jesus is alive in me. Sending the Spirit's flame into my heart again. God has put his love on me. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. 
Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy defend me. At the hour of my death call me, and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee for all eternity. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul and all within me, his holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus. Sing out to ever you are. Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus. Sing out to ever you are. Life is around us to use or abuse. Life in the great or the small. Each one of us has the power to choose. Whether to notice or just ignore life's call. Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus, sing God.